Welcome back to another video and today we're going to talk about SVG files, where you can get them, what they are and how you can use them in FreeCAD to do your own custom designs. So let's take a look. So for this simple example we're going to be using the Twitter logo as an SVG file and I've made a similar tutorial to this on Fusion 360 so I thought why not make it for FreeCAD since a lot of my viewers now are also FreeCAD users. So let's talk a little bit about what an SVG file is. And to demonstrate this, I'm just gonna use another logo here, the Instagram logo. So most of us know that whenever you take a low resolution image and you zoom in on the computer, so if we zoom in, the first thing you notice is that it starts to look really quite nasty and you start getting those um, ragged edges and it just doesn't look very pleasing, right? In order to solve this, there's another format that people use and it's called SVG. So if I come over to this tab, SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics and all this basically means is that it uses vectors to create an image instead of pixels. That way you're accommodating for far more resolutions, different screens and all kinds of things. So this is the SVG file and again if I zoom into this one you can see we keep the resolution all the way in and it looks really clean with nice sharp edges. And this is all Chrome will let me zoom in but you could go in as much as you want and you'll always have those sharp edges and typically whenever we're doing something in CAD we face a similar problem we always want our 3D objects and 3D lines to be smooth so that we have a better looking model one other thing I want to talk about before we get to FreeCAD is where you can get SVG files so this is a site called freesvgdesigns.com these SVG files are all free for personal use if you want to use them commercially you do have to get a license but just for your own personal projects, you can use them for a bit of fun. As you can see here, they've got a bunch of different stuff on there. And these are a lot more complex SVG files than the Twitter one that we're gonna be using. But the concept's the same, and if you play around with it long enough, you can get something looking really good. So as I said, we'll be using the Twitter logo as an SVG file. I'll leave a link to this below if you wanna follow along. So just make sure you've got this saved to your computer somewhere, and then jump into FreeCAD. So as always, we're just gonna create a new project. We'll create a new part and a new body and we'll save the project from there we're going to go up to file import and we're going to go and select that svg file that i've downloaded which is here twitter svg and we're going to click open we're going to import as svg geometry hit yes and you can see we now have that outline of the svg inside of freecad now we need to do a couple of things first in order to use this in a sketch and um, one of the things i'm going to show you is how to get some perspective on this in terms of scale and how to resize it to something that you're happy with. So we've imported that and pay attention here to the model tab where we've got our path tree. You can see it's imported as a path. It's essentially its own body. We're gonna convert this to a sketch a bit later on, but first I wanna show you how we can get some scale to this. So once again, we're just gonna select our body here. We're gonna go up to create sketch. We're gonna select the X, Y plane, hit okay. And now we've got this nice sketch behind us. As I said before, when you import these things, you can see this is really small and you don't really have any scale. So let's say you wanted to 3D print this as large as you could on your printer. So let's say your printer was um, 300 mil by 300 mil and you wanted to print this. You need to know in FreeCAD where those dimensions lie. So what we can do is just simply grab the rectangle tool. We'll click our center point as a reference and we'll just drag out a rough um, square shape and then remember we can use our constraints so up here on the constraints menu select horizontal distance we're going to select our two points and uh, let's say we're going to do as i said the example so we'll go with 300 mil for our heat bed shape it's okay we'll then do the same for our vertical distance so let's go and grab our vertical again remember we click the center point and the other side of our square we're going to do 300 again and if we hit close you can now see we've got our logo here at the origin it'll always place it at the origin for you and then we've got this nice guide for us to scale that svg so that we know it's the correct size that we want to work with in order to scale this up to the appropriate size what we'll do is we'll just zoom in first we're going to select path here on the left and you'll see your svg outline turn green then we'll go and switch to the draft workbench up here so we'll go to draft then on the menu here where these other icons are, you can see we've got move, rotate. We're going to select this one, the third one across that says scale selected objects from a base point. We'll click on that. Make sure you've got these unticked here. We're going to click enter point. Basically here you have to click anywhere on the screen. So we're just going to click at the center of our uh, SVG. 
then make sure you have uniform scaling and create a clone checked then we can just start increasing the scale here and because we've got uniform scaling it'll all stay nice and proportioned uh, we can just increase it and you can see we can try our best here to fill our dimensions so let's try something like um, 7.8 you can see that kind of fits in there i'm going to hit ok that's created a copy for us so we can go to the original path and hide it now that we have a good scale for this and we know it fits within our bounding box we can convert this now to a sketch so we're going to go to path 001 while still in the draft workbench there's an icon here that converts between draft objects and sketches so we're going to click on that you'll notice a new sketch has been created here so we can hide our original path and what we're left with is a sketch so let's go ahead and drag that sketch onto our body and that way it just helps us be more organized so we're going to rename our sketches now so we'll rename the first one to guide we'll rename the second one to twitter and now that we're done with the guide we can hide it so now let's extrude this and turn it into a 3d model so if we switch workbench again we'll go to part design come back to our model tab we're going to select our twitter sketch come up to the toolbar here and pad it so we're going to click this one and if we rotate around you can see that we now have an extruded object i'm going to set this to be 10 hit ok and once again this draft plane in the background can be quite annoying so we'll go up and change to the draft workbench you'll see these blue symbols here if you click the two arrows you'll see this grid icon if you click that it hides that grid and it just gets it out of the way for us so let's switch back to part design and there we go you can see we've got a relatively cool looking shape that we didn't have to sketch out we could just import the file and create this really cool looking 3d model now one other tip i'll give you as well is that sometimes when extruding your design will sometimes fly off the screen and it'll look like there's nothing there and you'll be scrolling around trying to figure out where it is and all you have to do in that case is up here where this cube is on the top right there's another little cube underneath it if you click that there's an option at the bottom that says zoom to fit so when we click on that it snaps our model back to the center of our screen and that way you won't be lost in the workspace the one final thing i'll show you is how you can make changes to this maybe you know if this was something else you would want to add text to it change it a little bit so to do that we simply do what we normally would do in FreeCAD. we go back to the sketch so if we come to our pad here double click on the twitter sketch we're straight back in here and we can make all those changes now none of this is constraint meaning that you can manipulate the whole thing so if we wanted to change the beak a little bit you can click on one of these points and just completely drag it around and change it and the same goes for all the other ones as well but as always you know if you want to make changes all you would do say we go up to the line tool and you would just continue your sketch so you could add whatever you wanted in here make it your own you could add your own text as well like i've shown you in previous tutorials so you get the idea that's basically all there is to it so if i hit close and come back that's how you use svg files inside of freecad it can be really fun especially if you find some good models and as i said i'll leave a link to that website below if you know any other sites let me know because i'm always playing around with these models as well so that's it for this one i hope you learned something as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video